So I've got an interesting switch here that I thought I'd show. Uh, this comes in the G4 Austin Gypsies. Uh, the G1 and the G2, uh, this is a signal light switch. Uh, the G1 and G2 had a switch that clicked over to the right or the left and just stayed there and you had to manually return it. But this switch here has got a, a really cool mechanical timer in it. If you watch that lever, it'll slowly come back. And um, I first found this in my AFS Gypsy uh, when I got it and I had to put it through the vehicle inspection that we have here in Canada. It's a lot like the MOT. Um, the switch, when you, you flipped it, it just clicked and came right back and it wouldn't stay to the left or the right. So I took it apart to, um, to see what was going on inside. I was actually, when I took the switch out, I was kind of amazed at just how large this housing is. And I thought it was kind of strange for, for a switch. I thought, why does it have to be so big? Um, this is a Lucas 31250 model TPS-1 switch, by the way. Um, it's the only switch I've ever seen like this and, and what it is it's a it's a mechanical timer that uh, uses vacuum and you'll see when I take it apart I, when, the first time when I took it apart I couldn't figure out what all the pieces even were. I thought this is really strange because uh, I've been a mechanic my whole life and I've never come across anything like this so it, it's kind of puzzling at first. So that's the housing. There's your switch there. Right, left, um, I had a video where I took this apart um, when it wasn't working, but I somehow managed to delete that off of my card. So now you're going to see a video of it already working, but before it wasn't. So, so what's inside here? There's a there's a piston inside, and the the sealing ring on it is made of leather and over time it dries out and then the uh, piston stops sealing and uh, the, the switch stops working. On the back there's a little adjusting screw here. This, this actually adjusts the, the time that the switch stays on because there's a, a tiny little vacuum port which I can't see right now. Um, when you adjust this screw, it's a lot like a mixture screw on a carburetor. You, you back it out and the, it, it lets more air into the cylinder and you tighten it down it lets less. So you can, you can adjust the time that the switch stays on. I think they usually aim for about 15 seconds from what I've read. This switch is still available. Well, it's not currently available, but there's a place called Retro Ignition on, online that sells this switch for 102 British pound. But it says currently out of stock, but so I don't know if they're getting them remanufactured in China or whatever. The, um, the wire terminals are also the nut that holds this together. So there's the cover. There's a little follower there. There's the piston, and that's the leather seal. And if, if you've got one of these switches, and you take this out, that this thing's going to be just dry, and it's going to be, it's going to look like a dried up old piece of paper. So it looked like his cardboard. So I soaked this for a day or two in mineral oil, and uh, it came right back, and and, um, and it works again. So that's that's the cam on the back. Let me shift these screws out. So when you turn this switch, you're pushing the piston down against a spring and then vacuum slowly, it, it creates a vacuum in there and the air slowly comes back and turns the switch off. 
And it's just an ingenious little bit of engineering. And and um, I have a feeling a lot of people, when they take these switches out, they, they don't know that they can repair this switch because I've seen a lot of G4 gypsies with just an aftermarket switch stuck in there. So people might be throwing these away, not realizing that just how it works. There's a the little vacuum port there where the air is allowed to come in through the back side. The right way. So when you push that in, see that piston's stuck down in there. I can speed along a little bit, letting the air in the back. That's me adjusting the screw on the back. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little switch. And um, like I say, I've never, never come across anything like this. So that, you just push that down in there. And make sure it puts wet together right. It's a little tricky because the spring's pushing against you while you're while you're doing it like that. Actually, probably easier to really tighten the screw right down so the air can't get out. Now it'll stay stuck in there. Goes on there. Something else kind of interesting is these screws are actually part of the connection. You can see they go to the, the terminal there through here and wire connects there. Something I've found with my Gypsy, uh, all the switches I've been able to take apart and repair on my G2, G1, all of those, um, even if they're crimped at the back, if it's an aluminum housing, you can undo that crimp and take it apart and, and clean the switch. And, and generally the, you know, the shaft where it goes in will have had water in it or something and it binds up. That's what I kind of like about these old trucks is you can you can take everything apart and repair it. Let me back that off. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool little switch. Yeah, and as far as I know, they use this in a lot of uh, different British vehicles. I, I think I even, uh, I think I saw it for MGs or, or Jaguar. Uh, can't remember, but um, so it's it's probably a, a more common switch in um, 
in the UK than here in uh, North America. But there you go. That is the Lucas 31250J model TPSI mechanical timer directional switch. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.